Good morning, Year 8. Um, nice talking to you again. Um, second part of Macbeth today, but before we get on to, do, uh, on to that, there's a do now. And before we even get on to that, there's the title. So uh, the learning objective today is to reflect on the characters and listen to the rest of the play. Uh, so the title that goes into your books is just Macbeth Part 2. Um, today you're going to need a pen, a book or paper and a working set of ears. Your do now is uh, from memory, write down all the characters you can remember from what you've experienced of the play so far. When you've done this, put an adjective next to the name that you think best describes them. So Macbeth might be bloodthirsty and so on. This is to kind of focus our minds because the, uh, the, the, nature, the characters show different sides of themselves as the play moves on. Um, so it'd be interesting to know what you think of them now. So just spend 10 minutes doing that, no more than 10 minutes, um, and then on to the next slide. Just an example here of the types of things you could have had uh, at Macbeth at this stage, um, certainly in the early part of the play. I don't know exactly how far you've got with your listening, but one thing you could say about him is that he's bloodthirsty. I mean, you could also perhaps say he's becoming slightly unhinged, but um, I don't know how far you've got. Um, King Duncan. Um, I would say trusting. So anyway, uh, I would like to see what you said about all the characters you can remember. So when you upload your summary of um, of what you've heard today, um, as I say, you can do that as a bullet point um, thing if you want. It's not a test. I'm just, you know, we're just trying to get the story established in your head as, as much as we can do before we start going through with the analysis. Um, upload it with the summary at the end and I'll uh, have a look. So as in the previous lesson, you're going to listen to the play for the hour. I've attached the link there so you can pick it up from wherever it was uh, you got to. I know it's pretty heavy going, a lot of it, but it is the best version of Macbeth that I've ever seen. Not that I've seen millions, but it's certainly, I mean, Judy Dench and Sir Ian McKellen, you really can't go far wrong. Um, so stick with it. Um, and, uh, you know, you'll be surprised what you're taking in. And when we come back to uh, do the analysis, you'll be surprised what you do remember. Uh, the thing is with Shakespeare, um, this is why we do it this way around, where you just listen to it. We would have read it in class um, had you been at school. But um, is, uh, is that if you dive in and listen to it, much as the people of the time would have done. Um, I mean, 80 percent of his audience are illiterate. So it's not if you pay attention. Um, it is there. The language is, uh, is quite arcane, obviously, um, but it is English. So just let it wash over you and uh, we'll pick up the, uh, the complexities of it when we do the analysis. So at the end of the hour, when you finish the play, write a brief summary of the story so far and upload it to class charts. OK, enjoy that year eight and I will speak to you soon.